Hey everyone, I'm Chris Shadowin, and this is Reviews of the Nerds. Today I'm reviewing the short animated feature, Peter and the Wolf. Peter and the Wolf was originally created by Russian composer Sergei Prokofiev in 1936 as a symphonic fairy tale for children consisting of orchestral music and narration. Then 10 years later, Disney adapted it into an animated short. Now it has been adapted again into a more modern retelling of Peter and the Wolf. Based on drawings and concepts by Bono, yes, that Bono, this adaptation of Peter and the Wolf tells a slightly different story than the original. The story is told through animation set over real set pieces. It only uses three colors, red, black, and white, which makes for some really striking imagery. The way that all the elements come together make for some of the coolest animation I've ever seen. If you are a fan of Bono, creative storytelling, or the original Peter and the Wolf, you will enjoy this. I watched this with my kids and they enjoyed it. However, when I first saw it, I immediately texted my friend because I knew that he'd like the animation and the story. Even though the main story is pretty straightforward, dealing with being brave in the face of fears, there is some surprising depth here watching a boy deal with the loss of his mother due to cancer. And while that sounds really heavy, that part completely eluded my kids because it's more subtle than overt. See, I grew up listening and watching Peter and the Wolf, so I was a bit worried of what a modern version might do to my childhood memories. However, when the musical themes for the different characters came on, it was amazing to me that I could still hum along to the music despite not having heard it for maybe 20 years. I was blown away by the animation and the style of this movie, but I rewatched parts of it to catch some of the layers to the story. Themes like bravery, overcoming fear, compassion, and learning to cope with loss all come through in this 30 minute cartoon. But the manner in which it helps normalize death will be helpful for children who may be going through a tough time with the loss of a loved one. For all those reasons, I highly recommend watching this. It is currently available to stream on Max. I'm Chris Shadow, and remember, beware, for wolves come in many disguises. And for a deeper dive into media and worldview, you can check out my podcast by searching for Worldview Finder on the YouTube, Spotify, or iTunes.